Let me be all right. Amen. It's, it, it, I mean, y'all, it's okay to change up some stuff sometimes. Amen. It's okay. Yeah. So many people got a problem with standing, but they stood, if you go to the courthouse, you stand up for the judge. Thank you, sir. Amen. Amen. Y'all okay? Amen. Amen. We're going to uh, we're going to First Corinthians chapter ten. Let's go. Let's go to First Corinthians chapter ten this morning. Amen. I, I, I just pray that this word would. You would carry it with you. If it ain't for now, just put it on the shelf. And I, I can almost guarantee you that uh, not many days from now you'll need it. Amen? Amen. You're really going to need it today when you hear it. Amen. 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 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Mm -hmm. Here's some pages still flipping. We'll get there. I don't want to do a lot of reading this morning, but I probably need to do it for your understanding. Because mm -hmm. uh, you ain't going to go back and read nothing. <laughs> Amen. I mean, some people do, but most people don't. They wait till they come to the church for the preacher to explain everything. First Corinthians chapter 10. I'm going to read about 13 verses. I have to for clarity. Uh, verse 1 Moreover, brethren, I would not have ye, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and passed through the sea. And were all baptized into Moses into the cloud into the sea. And all did eat the same spiritual meat. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. For you drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to learn. You got to drink him. Amen. Yeah, you got to consume him. Yeah, he's to be consumed. And then he'll consume you. Mm. Yes. And, 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 but verse 5 says, but with many of them, God was not well pleased. You see that? Mm -hmm. All them followers that Moses had following him, God was not pleased with them all. Mm -hmm. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Verse 6, now these things were our examples that to that the, to the intent that we should not lust out the evil things as they also lusted. Mm -hmm. Neither be ye idolaters as were some of them as it is written, the people sat down to eat. And drink and rose up to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't sit at the Lord's table and then leave here and then go do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in, and failed in one day three and twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. Neither let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted. And were destroyed of the servants. Mm. <laughs> Neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Mm. Yeah. Uh, none of these things, not, not excuse me, now all these things happened to them for, for examples. Mm. And they were written for our, uh, ab, 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 somebody say it, admonition, thank you, upon whom the ends of the world are come. Mm. Wherefore, let them that thinketh he, Stand it, take heed, lest he fall. This is the, and this is the scripture that I really want to talk about this morning. This next one, ah, uh, there have no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but with the temptation also make a way of escape that you might be able to uh, bear it. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, flee from idolatry. Let's pray. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise and the honor. God, we thank you for this opportunity to stand in the presence of your people, oh God, even in your presence. God, you said in your presence is the fullness of joy and that your right hand are pleasures evermore. God, we thank you, God, for um, this opportunity, God, to break the bread of life. Anoint me afresh. I decrease now that you might increase in me. God, we thank you after your word has come forth. Confirm it with signs following. We give you praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. The church said. Amen. 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 God got a funny way of showing you things and, and, and saying, you know, and getting saying certain things to you. Mm -hmm. And so and so on yesterday, is everybody cold? Okay, 
y'all just let me know we'll switch it back on. So so yesterday, um, uh, you know, of course I was waiting for the Lord to share something he might want me to share with us. And it flashed across my mind. The topic today is fighting temptations. Mm -hmm. My God. Amen. Fighting temptations. Anybody have to fight? Yes. Amen. Stuff that come to you. Yes. We know Amen. it ain't godly. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. The thoughts that come against my mind sometimes. The thing that I'm so familiar with that keep showing up. Yeah, fighting temptations. It's like the, the, those scriptures that I just read to you they talk about one. This was a warnings uh, following all the, you know, the, these things that the Israelites had to fight against. And the Israelites, they were living in a backslidden condition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They were living in a backslidden condition. But the thing about it is that every time they cried out to the Lord, he was right there. Mm -hmm. So, but that don't give me a license or a right to live in a backslidden state. Mm -hmm. It don't even give me the license, you know, because I'm under grace, live like I want. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I got to fight those temptations that come my way. Mm -hmm. I got to fight them. I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, giants going to keep on coming. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, They're going to keep on coming. And the thing about a giant is it may start small. Mm -hmm. But if you don't deal with that giant at nine feet tall, mm -hmm. yeah, by the time you try to fight it at 12 foot, you think it's going to be easier? No. They ain't going to gain some strength, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Even gain some size. And so we should learn from their, their, their many calamities. And a calamity is an event causing great and often sudden damage or the distress, a disaster. And we should learn from the things that they they they, they 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 overtook them. Because if we don't learn from the things that overtook them, ain't nothing new coming. So the same stuff come at me. And if I don't learn from what they feel at, mm -hmm. I'm going to fall into the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, we got the Bible as an example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything in that, everything in this book is for my learning. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. God, God desired tests and trials to come not to overtake me, but to strengthen me. Mm -hmm. They didn't come to overtake me, but it's all about how I handle the thing that's coming at me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on, it, it ain't gonna stop. So, uh, temptation. Let me give you a definition of temptation. The primary definition is uh, it denotes a trial in which a man has a free choice of being faithful or unfaithful to God. Let me give it to you again. Temptation. The primary uh, definition denotes a trial in which a man has a free choice of being faithful or unfaithful to God. So, in other words, God, when the temptation comes, I, I, I can make a choice to allow the temptation to overtake me. I can give in to it or I can flee from it. You know, sometimes you can't run from it. Sometimes you got to deal with it right where you're at. Amen. Amen. Because some things you got to some things you got to deal with. Run it, run, run it from it sometimes. It all depends on what it is. Run it from it sometimes. You, know, you don't learn to listen. Now, sometimes it's best to run until you get strength. Look at look. Let's, let's look at Joseph. Joseph ends up in the house of Potiphar. Yeah, yeah. And Potiphar gives him authority in his house. And one day Potiphar's not around, and Potiphar's wife has been looking at this good-looking man. You know you're good-looking. I think you, I think you think that. And so you got this chick checking you out, but you know she married. Mm -hmm. She might be married to the one that you work for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the one, your God. And so, you know, you find yourself there alone, and your mind is somewhere else. But her mind is on you laying with her. And so she grabs you. 
And in the midst of wrapping you, you snatch away and you run, but you leave your coat. Yeah. He, so, so how Joe, look how Joseph, look how Joseph handled temptation. And he handled temptation. He he fled from it. He he fled fornication or adultery. It would have been it would have been fornication for him and adultery for her. So he fled. So that's why I said sometimes you got to flee. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you got to flee from a thing. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord have mercy. So fighting temptations is not going to be easy. Amen. Amen. It's not going to be easy. Some temptations are greater than others. Oh, yeah. So the secondary definition of temptation, it signifies allurement or seduction to sin. It pulls at me. Pulls at me. There's no temptation that comes at you. But it's just common to man. Mm-hmm. But God is faithful. Amen. He gives me a way out. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times we don't take Amen. the way out. Wow. Amen. Yeah. So, so temptation is something that doesn't discriminate. Amen. It doesn't discriminate. It has no respect of persons. Mm-hmm. It knows your address. It knows mine. And the thing about temptation is temptation knows what I like. Mm-hmm. Temptation knows what I like. So temptation does not care who I, who or where you live. Mm-hmm. Don't care who you are, where you live. Temptation in itself is not harmful at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not harmful at all, but if you yield to it, mm-hmm. it becomes devastating. Mm-hmm. It becomes a disaster. Amen, amen. You yield to it. Oh it is not sin. Mm-hmm. Temptation in itself is not sin amen. until I yield to it. You've seen a yield sign before, haven't you? Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get a ticket. I didn't know this, but you can get a ticket for stopping at a yield sign. Mm-hmm. It didn't say stop. <laughs> yeah. So on the life, on the road to life, there are many road signs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stop signs, yield signs, take a left, take a right, you know, exit ramp. Come on. Uh, adultery to the right. Hello, uh, 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 woman bar to the right. So this is what the, this is what the, our life consists of. We, we, we're traveling. Traveling through this life. Amen. You're going to run into potholes. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Come on. You're going you're gonna to run into curves sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you're going to run stop lights. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes you're going to run stoplights. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the Pope is going to give you a ticket. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, you, so you convert that to the thing that you're walking through now. Amen. You convert it. Mm-hmm. Amen. So, 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 so when you yield to, ten, to, to, to the temptation, it becomes devastating mm-hmm. and sin. So we, so we must learn how to fight or resist the temptations that come to destroy us. Gotta fight. Gotta fight. Amen. We got to fight. How, how yeah, do good. we good. fight temptations? Mm. How do we fight? I'm going. I'm, I'm going there in just a minute. Hold tight. Hold tight. Hold tight. Just a minute. So watch this. So just because a person is overtaken by temptation doesn't automatically mean that they will immediately be destroyed. Total destruction may not show up immediately. Yeah, 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 watch now, watch. So anytime we find ourselves in a fallen state, we have to we have time to repent and ask forgiveness. Mm-hmm. We must repent mm-hmm. once we give in to temptation. Mm-hmm. Because once you give in to temptation, it becomes sin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good, that's good. I'm saying. Amen. Amen. That, that, a lot of times we find ourselves we be in sin and don't realize it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Give me James chapter 4 and verse 17. Yeah. We be in sin a lot of times and we don't realize it. Because uh, second, sec, uh, the Songs of Solomon 2.15 says it's the little foxes that spoil the vine. It's the little things keep tripping me up. You there? Mm-hmm. James 4 verse 17. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, 
To him it is sin. So where you find yourself at? Therefore, to them that know it to do good and doeth it not, mm. to him, to her, to them it is sin. You you know to pray. Mm -hmm. You know to read the word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know you know to fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you, you know what you should do. These are just this is just our reasonable service. But if we're not doing that to them, I ain't writing the book. The book was wrote before I was thought about. Mm -hmm. yeah, to them it is sin. Well, what is sin? I missed the mark. I keep missing the mark. Mm -hmm. I can't keep missing the mark. Mm -hmm. Because if I keep missing the mark, eventually, Holy Spirit. It's going to vacate. Mm -hmm. Because when I sin, he don't immediately leave. Mm -hmm. We got to teach the whole counsel of God. We can't teach half of it. Amen. Yeah, you can't tell me, uh, you can't take the scripture over in the book of Isaiah and say your sins have separated you from God. You can't use that. Mm -hmm. Ask me why. why. Because Holy Spirit now lives in me. And every time I sin, he don't just leave. Amen. He always leave me room mm -hmm. to repent. Amen. Amen. You know, you know when you get a uh, eviction notice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they don't just put you out to give you a little team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carol like did that one. <laughs> they give you time, right? You got 30 days. Well, We're gonna put you out. Yeah, Holy Spirit just don't He just don't automatically yeah, it's, it's about this stuff people teaching us We believe it man mm -hmm. Your righteousness is like filthy rags It is But I'm not living on my righteousness Amen. Yeah, I receive his Amen. That's what makes me righteous right. Ooh, it, The Bible said That the redeemed of the Lord say so Amen. So if I'm redeemed By the blood It makes me righteous That's right Y'all go ahead and be filthy. Because <laughs> you if you're filthy, you're not going to heaven. That's it. That's it. Yeah, man, look, look I, I'm just we got to know that we know that we know. Either your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life or it's not. Either you're going to heaven or hell. Picked up a book yesterday just talking about purgatory. I knew it was I knew it was talking about the Catholic Church. You know, uh, stuff that purges your sins and all this while you're in purgatory. How, how, how you get out. Mm -hmm. If you die without Christ, okay. it ain't going to be no purge. Amen. No purgatory. Ain't no purgatory. Yeah. Why, why is it in this book and it ain't in ours? Okay. Why, why, why? I mean, come on now. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Let's, can we move a little bit? Mm -hmm. Let's move. So, temptation. Is something all Christians will face. Amen. Watch this. No matter how long you've been following Christ, you are not exempt. Amen. Let me, let me, let me, let me uh, describe this. I love describing words. I love defining, but not describing. Defining words. Because I want you to understand really what's being said. The word exempt means to be free from an obligation or liability imposed on others. Amen. Mm -hmm. So nobody is exempt from being tempted. Mm -hmm. I don't care whether you are a believer or an unbeliever. Mm -hmm. Everybody will be tempted. Mm -hmm. How can, I mean, why would the enemy uh, attempt a unbeliever? Why? You, you ever thought about it? You probably had. Mm -hmm. you know, just be honest, you don't go to hell this <laughs> Think about it. Why, why, why would he tell Unbeliever, because he don't want the unbeliever to come to Christ. Amen. Yeah, he's a. I'm telling you, boy, he's a weapon all by himself. He will strip you naked. Mm -hmm. You do know that, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some of us don't act like it. Yeah, tell lies. I I lived in sin. I lived a terrible life, liar. Mm -hmm. Why you stay so long? Okay. That terrible. Okay. Yeah. Let's say, for instance, you're 20 years old. You've been in sin 20 years. Okay. A long time, man. Your life can't be that miserable. Could have been 20 years. Think about 30. 
But you ain't trying to do nothing about it. Mm. That's the thing. I believe in my in my mind, mm. in my heart, that it don't make no difference whether people are getting the wrong message or not. Mm-hmm. What I believe is, I believe that God, in all of his infinite wisdom, he wished that no man would perish, Amen. but all men would come to repentance. He's going to allow somebody That's right. to encounter you Amen. with Amen. the truth. That's That's right. I'm telling you. That's, right. That's a part of his not wanting you to perish. You can, you, can, you, you can refuse it. Because that was a prophet, I think it was Samuel, and the Lord said, don't tell them this. Mm-hmm. And Samuel said, well, they're going to reject me. He said, they ain't going to reject you. They're they rejecting me. Mm-hmm. See, so it don't make no difference who the mailman is bringing the message. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to. I, I, I keep trying to tell folks, get past what you see mm-hmm. and hear what they say. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to like me. Mm-hmm. You can't love me if you don't like me. I don't understand this. Because I understand the word, the definition of like. Mm-hmm. It's not to prefer somebody, right? Well, how can I not prefer you, but I love you? That 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 that's that sounds ludicrous to me. Amen. That's like that, that's like a wife saying, you know, no, no, you can tell me I don't like your ways, mm-hmm. okay, but I don't like them, but you love them. Mm-hmm. That's like a husband telling a wife, I don't like you, but I love you. <laughs> I've done with that sound. <laughs> no, that sounds crazy. That, that, that's the kind of stuff we say in the church. The kind of stuff we said in the church. I'm, I'm, let me tell you what the Lord showed me last week. Give me, a give me, give, give me an illustration. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Let me see it. Okay. We got three people. Mm-hmm. Got three people. Uh, let me just give it to you. Just let me show you what he showed me. You got a man and he got two women. Mm-hmm. <coughs> okay. It don't make no difference who it is. This is an illustration. I know where your mind going. <laughs> we got a man that has two women that he sees. Okay? So now in the midst of the man and the two women, mm-hmm. the two women are at odds. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. But you got the Negro in the middle. <laughs> so this is what the Lord showed me. Now watch. He said... So why are the women at odd and they're not mad with the man? That's right. That's good. That's good. <laughs> he said, look, he's up there. He missed me up. He said, the man is the common denominator. Why, why they don't jump on him? Okay. But they're at odds with one another. Amen. Over this joker. That's good right there. Because he know he meets you where you're at. Okay. Take it for what it's worth. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So what he was trying to show me is he said, this is what's in the church. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is what's in the church. You got Christian folks. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. They, they, they don't like each other. Because mm-hmm. watch this. Here's something the Lord gave me about two years ago. Year and a half. About almost two years ago. Year and a half. He says the enemy wants to divide us Amen. so he can conquer us. Amen. That's, that's one of his strategies. Mm-hmm. Divide yeah. and Amen. conquer. Amen. Because if I can get, watch this, two can put a thousand, one can put a thousand to flight, mm-hmm. but two together can put 10,000 to flight. Amen. So us together, we're better apart. So if the enemy come in between us, mm-hmm. he divides us. You, you you get your little 10, I get my little 10. Mm. I mean, no, no, a thousand and a thousand. I'm sorry. Because yeah. you got two together, got 10,000. So then if you got a thousand, I get a thousand. Eight thousand is running. Yeah. Free. My God. Because we won't come together. Come together. That's good. That's good. Mm-hmm. So well, what's wrong with the church? How can I not like you? How can I not get along with you? Mm. Because he, you know, Jesus tells his disciples, he says, the world will know you, my disciples, Amen. by the love that you show one to another. That's it. That's the word. We got some hatred. We got some hatred mm-hmm. going on. Hate, temptation. Hatred can be a temptation. Mm-hmm. Cause watch this. Witchcraft mm-hmm. tells you, girl, you shouldn't be messing with them, cause you don't like them. Oh my God. 
If I was you, I wouldn't mess with them. Because they don't like them. You, 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 you can't control folks. Look, look, in the book of in the book of Genesis, chapter one, he gave them dominion over all creeping, flying things, everything except each other. Amen. That's the word. So how can you control me and tell me who I should like and who you should? My God, you preaching. Witchcraft. That's what witchcraft is control. Witchcraft simply is to control something or to manipulate somebody against their will. Ooh. I better not go there. Holy Ghost didn't tell me. I'm, I'm almost there. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Hello, somebody. Because most people, because I'm telling you, man, it, it, it's so many clicks in the church. Mm-hmm. So many clicks in the church. And those, and those clicks, they always have a leader. Mm-hmm. Right now. They always have a leader. Mm-hmm. It, you know, you, you, it, it, look, man, it's been throughout every one of our lives. Mm-hmm. You get little, you little groups of girls at school. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you, you, you're not a part of the crowd. So they, they try to do all this stuff. The, the, the leader told them, you, I better not catch you messing with her. You talking to her. That diva. Yeah, that one. Okay. <laughs> so now, mm-hmm. y'all think I'm lying to y'all. Mm-hmm. So now we got divas in the church. Oh my. I've seen de- diva conferences. Oh my God. Oh <laughs> God. I'm telling you, man, you go on faith. I, 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 seen, I seen a pastor and his wife. You know, on a pole saying we're getting ready to hit my hubby birthday. Now we're getting ready to turn up. Mm, my God. What kind of temptation is that going to send to somebody else in the body of Christ? Mm-hmm. Girl, it's okay. Come on over in the church. We turn up too. <laughs> <laughs> think, think about it. Mm-hmm. Think about what kind of subliminal. It might, hello, somebody may take that thing the wrong way. Mm-hmm. But, but, but we shouldn't be talking that kind of language. That's not language of the kingdom. Oh my God. Helping somebody. Yeah, we, we look. We behind. I mean, now uh, we, especially behind, you shouldn't be doing it anyway, but behind from the desk, mm-hmm. from the sacred place. Mm-hmm. Wow. Man. We have converted sanctuaries into a den of thieves. Mm-hmm. We do everything, man. Mm-hmm. We call an electrician in, hang the lights right, 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 yeah, right there, right, hang right there. No blue, red, yeah, blue, red, yellow. Cause you know, so when I put my suit on, my color right. Mm-hmm. So everybody that can see the color's just right. Mm-hmm. Watch this now. So now what we're I'm telling you. So now what we do is we start catering to the world. Mm-hmm. God Almighty Jesus. But the Bible said in Romans uh, in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, be not conformed to this world. Amen. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's the word. See, because, because the Israelites' mm-hmm. hearts was never changed. Mm-hmm. So they came out of Egypt physically, mm-hmm. but mentally in their hearts, yep. they were still there. Mm-hmm. That's right. And see, that's the thing that that the church is struggling with. Mm-hmm. We came out of Egypt, which is the world. Mm-hmm. We crossed over to the church, mm-hmm. but my behavior is still the same. Oh my God! Yeah. Go through. Behavior still the same. Well, what, what, what? I'm telling you, my dress code shouldn't look like them. Mm-hmm. 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 Should look like them. Amen. My pants shouldn't be halfway on my room. Okay. Okay. I got one leg rolled up, one down. I'm on the praise thing. <laughs> That's kind of, I'm telling you, man. I've seen it. I'm, I've seen people doing it, man. <laughs> and what you get. Oh, Jesus. And what you get when you do that, you send strange fire up Ooh, to God. God. 
is something that he does not recognize. And then it destroys people. It gets people destroyed. Jesus. Because it's it's like a a a a a a it's something that's mingled. It ain't pure. I told you, man, there's a spirit called a Kundalini spirit mm -hmm. in the church. It's a familiar demon. Mm -hmm. It causes people to buck, jerk, mm -hmm. and they think it's God. We look at all these different color people with hair, the hair different colors. Mm -hmm. In the church, man, red hair, whatever color, pink hair. What is this about? It's a strange spirit. I know, I know people don't like it. You ain't got to comment. It don't matter. But it's a strange spirit. And if we don't come out of it, we're going to hell. It, it, it's plain and simple. Right. Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10 says, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Amen. So that means we must separate ourselves from stuff that is unclean. Mm -hmm. Don't make no different what it is. Man. We got. I just told you we got the book, we got the Bible as an example. Do you see red hair in there? Do you see it? No. So, so, so let, let's look at this thing for what it's worth. Why were the Israelites not pleasing God? Wonder why. Hmm. Oh, you said. Some that were doing some, some of them, he said, with well, some of them, he was not pleased. <laughs> not only did the children of Israel come out of Egypt, but they had a mixed multitude with them. You have, you, you're always going to have people that their mind is not made up. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Amen. That's good. And then when it's time to do the real thing, mm -hmm. when it's time to, to fast and pray and, and do the things that you should do, they fall off. My God. That's good, good word right here, I promise you. Mm -hmm. Because we can't fight the temptations mm -hmm. of the world. Wow. We're not fighting. We're giving it to them. Mm -hmm. God Almighty, he said, draw nigh <laughs> unto God. Yeah. Yes. Because he made he he made it he made it so fair and so equal. Mm -hmm. If you don't come to me, I won't come to you. My God. Jesus. And then people want to want to try to tell me to meet people where they at. Mm -hmm. He ain't coming down in mess. Okay, mm -hmm. that's real. <laughs> ah, because they didn't know what to do good. And do it or not. That made it sin. God keep brought us out of sin. Mm -hmm. So he don't deal with me in sin. Amen. He don't. He can't go near sin. Right. Amen. The only time there was an encounter with sin was on the cross. Mm. Oh, wow. It's the only time. I'm, 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 watch this revelation. And what happened was, is when Jesus Christ was hanging on the cross, God placed on him mm -hmm. all of the sins. Mm -hmm. Well, I would not have to take, I take that back. God, he allowed them because Jesus Christ was that sin sacrifice. Right, right. The Bible said he became sin for us. Right. So when the sins of the world all the men got put on him. He says something. Mm -hmm. My God. My God. Mm -hmm. Where you at? Yeah. <laughs> why why you forsaken me? Mm -hmm. God couldn't look upon sin even on his own son. Jesus. So you trying to tell me that you're living a sinful life? You thinking God looking on you? He's looking the other way. My God, that's good. That's good. He don't associate with a life of sin. Mm -hmm. You're calling on him. And he's not answering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm saying he's not answering you. He'll answer you when you repent. Mm -hmm. Come out. 
That's when they'll answer you. Yeah. I promise you. I'm, I, I'm, if you ain't never faked church, I did. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you know the thing about it, preachers with the mic, they didn't want to make everybody think they've arrived. Never done nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, 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 it don't look, it don't qualify me because I, I faked it and then it came out for me to be up there. That ain't what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. No, what qualifies you is he called you. Mm-hmm. See, because when he called you, then he also he'll qualify you. Mm-hmm. See, you ain't got to go start your own church because you get mad and went from where you was at and leave the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. You think that that's not the way start no church. And every church don't start because somebody birthed you out. You know, you know, you know all this terminology we've heard. Right. Who birthed you out? <laughs> really? I got somebody to put me out. <laughs> I'm serious. I've been put out of churches, man, for whatever reason. I promise you. People thought, that you come to take over. No, I didn't come to take over. No, I came to hell. Mm-hmm. They already tore up. So I came to hell. Yep, build it up. <laughs> But here's the thing, though. But but see, what it be is the anointing on your life. It intimidates them. Yeah, that's it. You know, that's, that, that's what it be. But but now watch this now. So now so now the Bible says, give me Luke seventeen and verse one. Give me Luke seventeen verse one. Watch this. Go ahead. Then said he unto the disciples, uh-huh. It is important, but. Is important or impossible? I'm sorry. It is impossible, but that offenses will come. Okay, watch this now. It is impossible. Come on. Offense is inevitable. Mm-hmm. It's going to show up. Mm-hmm. Now, you can be greatly anointed, and your anointing will t- intimidate people, and people will be offended. Right. Read the next verse. But woe mm-hmm. unto him through whom they come. So now you got to be careful that you don't offend people on purpose. Mm-hmm. You got to be careful. If God sent you to a place, regardless of what you're talking about, man, let's, let's get out of these titles. Let's get out of them. Okay. God ain't call you elder nothing. Get out. Let's get out of them. <laughs> okay. He didn't. He, he didn't say uh, 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 elder Moses. Moses. Mm-hmm. He said Moses. That's it. That's it. So when God assigns you to a place, mm-hmm. you are to go and submit yourself. Mm-hmm. I don't know how we got we over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we, we ought to go and submit ourselves under, get under that authority. Amen. Watch this now. Pull that little anointing down. Yeah. You, you, you can govern that anointing. You know, you do know that. Okay. You can. You can govern it. Yeah, you, you can control it. I just can't hold it. You break out and say, look, look. Lose <laughs> So submit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, submit. Because I'm going to tell you, man, when you start coming forth, and sometimes the greatness in you will jump out. Mm-hmm. Amen. Wow. But you got to know how to govern the greatness Amen. while you submit it to somebody. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. Tiger in your tank. Look <laughs> 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 like at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, because the thing about it, Jesus shared with his disciples, greater works than these shall you do. You might, you, you might be greater than that, that one you under. It's okay. But you're never greater than the teacher. That's right. Yeah. That's right. yeah so you always got to connect. You know, you, y'all know I ain't saying nothing new. Y'all already know this now. But connect with somebody that, that, that know more than you know. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Let me connect with somebody no more than you do. Two idiots. Really? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, I think y'all gonna produce is more idiots. Oh no, Lord. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good. So, so so that one that because because it's, it's a reason why God sent you there if he did. Right. Not for you to intimidate that leader. Mm-hmm. But that you would submit. Not not that you start gathering you a church while you're in the fold. Oh, you know how folks do. Because cause a lot of pastors don't understand that they really set themselves up when they start cell groups. Mm. You got a big church, you're setting up cell groups. Now, well, if, if it's too many in the church for you to happen, then maybe you need to downsize. Mm. Yeah. 
Amen. Y'all know what y'all know what cell groups are? Amen. Yeah, if a church got a thousand people, you got one pastor, they might start setting, let's say they set 10 groups of a hundred people each. You got 10 leaders that you set over a hundred people. It's like Moses. You know, people take a lot of the stuff that Moses have done. It works. But you gotta make sure you stand in contact with them leaders. Because if they ain't got your heart, they have your people. <laughs> Come on, you gotta watch. You gotta watch who you turn your children over to. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So let's get out of there. So submit yourself, because that time I'm telling you, that, look, it, it can be tempting for you to want to come on, come all the way up, but the time don't be right. Because if you don't do well in another man's house, you won't get your own. God Almighty, Jesus, hello, you got to submit yourself. Wait for the season that God has for you. Amen. Gotta wait. Gotta wait. Gotta wait. Amen. You gotta wait. The way, man. Watch this. Be careful who talking to you. Why are you waiting? Amen. True. Be careful who you talking to, because people, man, you you still over there up under that jugger? Mm. All that is in you. Oh wow. But see, what he didn't tell you was you you need to go with the blessings. Mm -hmm. You want to go with the blessing. <clears throat> the Bible said the Presbyterian laid hands on them and then sent them out. Not you got mad and went and started the church. Mad temple. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you don't follow, I'm telling you, man, if, if, if you don't follow that, that leader the right way, God going to send you people just like you. Because oh, wow. wow. we could be rebellious. Oh, yeah. If the pastor says something, don't you go change it because you're over a group? Oh, we ain't going to do that. We, I, 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 don't worry about it. So then the people start being just like you, that little hundred that he put you on. And after a while, y'all done branched out. Y'all doing stuff on the side. Y'all know it so. Mm -hmm. You don't start your little women's group. Oh, let me quit. <laughs> Ooh, your little women's group oh, on the side. I'm talking about out the ministry now. Jesus. So how do you handle that? Because that tells that it comes. Mm -hmm. God speaking to you. <laughs> oh my. You gotta talk to leadership. Mm -hmm. You gotta talk to leadership about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you want that thing to be done right. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want to be, I'm telling you, you want the you want the blessing on it. Yeah. Because if not, you're gonna you you get ready to mess some people up just like you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are little prayer groups on the side. You got a little you got a little phone conference calls, prayer groups. Yeah. I don't know. I'm telling this. Man, this is the kind of stuff. I promise y'all. Anything you want to know, look on Facebook. Okay. Anything you want to know. Look, you, you you can see, I mean, you see so much, man. There's so many women conferences now. And there are more women conferences in how men than men. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Uh, mm -hmm. Who told you to stop out, step out, and start empowering women? Who told you that? Check your source. I'm telling you. How do you check your source? Glad you asked. Check here. See what the women were doing there. That's the best source. They were holding it down. Hello. And if they had questions, they went to the house and asked. They won't go from house to house. Prayer meetings and breaking bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, you, know, you ain't gonna find none of that there. But now in the book of Titus, you saw where the older women right. were teaching the younger ones That's right. how they should behave. And, you know, uh, so, so many women need to be taught how to be a wife. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, you know, because when a man be a wife, you, the man should not have to make a wife. Hey, you're going you gonna to make the bed this week? <laughs> Oh no, we didn't do that where I came from. Well, you won't be making this no more. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Great, great, great temptation show up, but watch this. Even even before you marry somebody, date them a while. Mm -hmm. 
Put a little time on date them. See, see what they're working with. I ain't talking about nah. I ain't talking about what you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't talking about seeing what they're working with down below the belt. No. I'm talking about see how they are. You know, you, you ain't trying out, trying them out before you marry them. No, what's up? We don't have sex before marriage. Get yeah, hard sometimes. I'm, I'm talking about the situation now. <laughs> That's the one to call. That's why, you got, that's, why, that's why you got to have a curfew. Mm-hmm. Hello, man. You you going to see that gal? Look, just 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 go over by an hour. Mm-hmm. Go out to dinner and all that kind of stuff. You know, drop off. Don't even kiss her. Amen. Amen. Never want to kiss her. Oh, that's the. <laughs> <laughs> that's intimacy that's a form of intimacy you shouldn't be intimate before marriage yeah hello we, we, see but, but the thing about it we ain't talking about this we ain't talking about that we ain't keep yourself before I understand you know you, you know you probably were married before and you know but if you're with this new this new guy and, and y'all you know courtship that's what it's called courtship it's okay to court you know, I, 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 hey, I, I didn't think that was okay at one point. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't agree with dating. But man, when I became widowed, things changed. Amen. Hello, come tell us about it. I ain't gonna do it. I know you want to know. Why am I going to know? But the thing about it is courtship. Get to know them, man. They, they look. Everything about them is gonna show up. Everything about them gonna show up, you know, because you know, on these days we're on our best behavior. <laughs> they walk in, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you open the doors and all that. <laughs> so hard, that. That ain't gonna last a long time. Okay. Now, while she gonna start walking flat footed. <laughs> wake up, and say, what is that? A horse in that one? <laughs> Amen. Especially if she's a, you know, thicky. <laughs> so courtship is good. So, but the temptation that comes with court, I'm telling you, man, the temptation that comes, don't get it. Amen. It could be detrimental. Amen. It will, you, you, you'll start the union out wrong. Mm-hmm. You want God to bless a thing, you can't you can't pervert it from the start. Amen. Think about it. Yeah, but you don't understand how hard it is. Well, don't if it's that hard for you, talk on the phone. Okay. Amen. Stay with me. Too. It, it's, it's ways of escape. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. You got a minute. She called you two o'clock in the morning. Go, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm on the way. <laughs> you know what you're going to do, but I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Y'all got a minute on the phone that time of the night. Morning. So exempt. So, so none of us are exempt from Tim. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let me let me get down through here. Let me get down through here. Woo, Lord. That's a, that's a so some people in the body of Christ, man, they seem to believe that just because they have a certain title or a certain position, they exempt from temptation. Some people think that they think because they wear me. Oh man, shoot. I've been doing this too long, man. I don't, I don't care about these women. Women come, I don't care about these men. I'm good. And all temptation ain't that. But I'm just using that because you can recognize that real good. Yeah. So the thing because I, you know, I've, I've been around, I've been around the kingdom for a while. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, I don't interact with women, all, but 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 it might be one, mm-hmm. might be a different one to show up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't want to talk back, amen. Amen. Yeah, y'all don't want to talk back to me. And when she hit the door, you <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> so 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 when people think like that, you know, because they got a title of, title or position, that's a lie from Satan himself. If I could be honest, most of most of the temptation that we face are from the struggles that we previously had. Wow, that's good. If I could be honest. Wow. Yeah, if I could be honest. Watch this. So the thing that God has delivered me from, and I've been away from it for a while, mm-hmm. I think I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm talking to somebody. Mm-hmm. I think I'm good. So what I do is I get slack in that area. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. Amen. I get slack in that area. Mm-hmm. 
And so now the enemy, he'll send it because he's been studying me. Amen. Then when that thing comes, it knocks me off my foundation. Wow. So that's why I got to always be mindful of my surroundings. I got to be, I got to be, I got to be, uh, 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 what did what the scripture say? Got to be as gentle as a dove, mm -hmm. but the serpent part I'm missing. Wise, wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove. <laughs> yeah. I got to stay. I said it last week on Wednesday night. I got to stay on my P's and Q's. Mm -hmm. I got to be sharp. My discernment has got to be clicking. It's got to be clicking. <laughs> got to be in sync with the Spirit yeah, of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I got to be. I got to be in sync with him. Yeah. So, so you know, he's my. Oh my God, I feel you, God. He's my antenna. Yeah. Yeah. When something comes in my, I, 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 I got, a, I got a device on my car. And when I get too close to stuff, <laughs> it alarms me. Beep, 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 beep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, so when I'm in tune with the Holy Spirit. And when stuff is in my surroundings that I should be aware of, the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's good. It's not in tune, I must be with them. Yes. I got to be in tune. I got to stay focused. Mm -hmm. I got to stay focused because they're going to be many things coming against me. Mm -hmm. And watch this. It's not about who I am, mm -hmm. but it's about whose I am. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because you know the enemy he hates everything connected to God. Mm -hmm. He hates it, man. Yeah, he hates it. Oh. He hates it. Mm -hmm. Amen. He hates it. Mm. Oh Lord, you're helping me. So now watch this. So 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 in other words, the temptations that are not even from uh they're not even from my adversary. Oh, wow. They're just from past struggles. Wow. Oh, help me, Jesus. These are just so many. Watch this. There are just so many weak areas in our life that needs to be strengthened. Mm. Mm. I know I'm not trying to get down to this word that God gave me. Uh, uh, so, yes, I understand that the word of God says that when I'm weak, then am I strong. I understand that 2 Corinthians 12 and 10. I understand that when I'm weak, then am I strong. But watch. Watch this. But we need some help in the weak places. We need some help in the weak places. Amen. Amen. Uh, it's a shame that there are some unbelievers that live a more, more morally right life than some Christian people. Wow. It's a shame. Wow. It's a shame, man. The Lord began to deal with me this on this thing last week. He says to me, You got unbelievers that their life are more morally in line than people that say they're born again. Mm -hmm. That's a shame. That's a shame to us. Yeah. Watch now because you know we, 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 we don't hear this much. What I'm saying, we don't hear this mm -hmm. about unbelievers living better than we are. I'm talking about morally, right? Right. Yeah. We don't hear this. Watch. I'm, I'm telling you, it bless me. Uh so so hello, somebody. Watch this. If the truth be told, some unbelievers don't lie, mm -hmm. cheat on their spouses. Right. They don't fornicate. They don't live more. They live morally right, but they just are not born again yet. Wow, that's good. That's, good. Mm -hmm. that's a shame, man. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's, so somewhere out the chair, mm -hmm. and we're gonna say we 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 we're a Christian. Amen. Amen. We on the job, uh, hustlers. Jesus. God Almighty, boy. Listen now, and let, let me go a little further. So, so, so then we begin to look at some of these, some of these people who proclaim that they are following Christ. Mm -hmm. Some of us who are calling ourselves Christians, mm -hmm. we are suspect. Mm. Wow. Let me give you a definition of suspect. <laughs> suspect. Doubt the genuineness or the truth of. Mm. Some people don't know. What to think about us? Amen. We suspect. I just learned that word suspect. I just learned that. This is how I learned it because you got a lot of people now 
in the body of you know, not, not in the body, or even in the body of Christ, but in the world, you don't know whether they they gain or strength. They say they are suspect. So this is what we got in the body of Christ now. People don't know. They, they, they don't know whether you say it or not. They, they, they see a little something, little something on you. But they see more of that than they see of him. So you suspect. If they had to check the box, yes or no, they walk off. <laughs> That's the one to call. <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about? Come on, man. This is a shame, man. That people see our lifestyle. They don't know what, you know, what, what we say. Shame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shame. Because all the temptation. See, but watch this. Because temptation just don't happen to us while we're sitting in here. Right. It happens while we're in the workplace. Okay. Stuff presents itself to us, and we give in to it, but we don't know who's watching us. Yeah. Who's watching us? Yeah. Suspect. We suspect. Mm. Go to dinner. We drinking wine. Suspect. Mm -hmm. The Bible said don't drink wine. Mm -hmm. It said don't drink wine. It's a mockery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We drinking. It ain't nothing wrong with having a, a glass of table wine. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do it, oh yeah, <laughs> jeez, that must be not the only thing. Yeah, because I said it last night. Now, why do you know? Why would you set something before you that you don't do? Why would, why would you? Why would you go in a lion's den and he ain't eat? Let me get up. Let me go here. Listen to this now. So, 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 so we were suspect. Uh so people just have a question about your confession. But I, I, I'm so glad that there is some practical things that we can do mm, uh, to apply. That we can apply, I'm sorry. That we can apply. I'm moving stick notes. That's how I'm a stick note man. That we can apply so that we can fortify those weak places in our life. The word fortify. It means to strengthen a place with defensive works so as to protect it against attacks. Mm -hmm. So those weak areas in my life, they need to be built up. They need to be built up. I, I, I'm trying not to be long, but we, we, we really need this this moment. I couldn't. I really couldn't stop writing. I promise you I could. Because when Holy Spirit start talking, then you need to start writing. Amen. I found that out. You know, as a writer, I'm a writer now, y'all. Thank you very much. Uh, but when, I'm telling you, when I start writing, it, it, you know, either it's going to flow or it's not. So, 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 I, you know, I was talking to my editor and I said to her, I said to her, I said, well, I can't. She said, well, somebody posted something, said something called rock writer's block. And then um, somebody else posted, you know, oh, what do you do when you find yourself experiencing writer's block? So I told her, when it stopped flowing, you finish. Amen. Yeah, when it stopped flowing, you finish. Because Holy Spirit, he's only going to give you what you need to have. Yeah, when, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm putting a sermon together, and when Holy Spirit stopped talking, I stop writing. Mm -hmm. Now, as I'm up here ministering, he starts saying stuff. He'll add, he'll, he'll, he'll add to you what you need to add to in that hour. Give you what to say. But you just write down now what I'm saying to you. Amen. Because with the word of God being quick, powerful, and sharp, it's alive. It do not stop expanding. Amen. Yeah, it's progressive. That word is growing. It's growing in us. Amen. Yes, I'm telling you, it's growing. It's growing, man. It's a seed. A seed. You know, a seed, once it, once it pop out, once, you know what was in the seed? It's got to grow. Amen. We got that incorruptible seed in us. Yeah. Which is the word. Mm. And that word never stops growing. Because what's in you shows outwardly. But if you don't put, if you don't, if you don't get to get that word, that, that seed, the right nutrients, That's right. the right vitamins, yeah. the right, the right fertilizer, mm -hmm. it'll dry up and die. And then we'll still try to be operating. 
You're still trying to operate and it won't be working. Just because something's working don't mean God's a part of it. It don't mean that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's too many examples in the Bible where God had fired people and still let them operate. It's too many examples. Yeah, it's too many. So, so hear Holy Spirit, and when whatever He's saying, you go with. It. But it's got to be right. You got to, the the timing. See, God don't work in timing. God just works in seasons. But but we we we, we must be like the sons of Issachar. We got to know the times and the seasons that God wants us to do certain things. Okay. You, you, you didn't get that. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 said there's a time and a season for everything. Sometimes you need to sit and not say anything. You can't, you, I'm telling you, you can't talk in here. At the same time, Amen. you can't. You got two eyes, and you can't see over there and over there. If you do, your eyes are tender. You can't see over there and over there. You can't look there and look down. You can't look forward and backwards. You can. If you do, we call the Guinness Book of Records. Cockeyed Junior over here. Look at him. <laughs> Hello. So we got to be zeroed in on the things of God. In, in order to build up the weak places, we got to change something. God, Jesus. So watch this. So, so, so that, oh, I like that. I like that word fortify. Uh, talk about the weak places just for a minute. Ephesians 4 27 says, Give no room, give no place. To the enemy. Now that weak place that I got, that's a place where that temptation will keep hitting. Because it's a familiar place. Mm -hmm. It don't just hit. It, it, it comes on in. So that's the place. I, 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 you know, I always tell my son, don't work on your strengths. Work on your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Work on your weaknesses because that's, that's the place. Yeah, that's the place where the enemy is going to show up at. Mm -hmm. He always looking for even in the congregation. Well, watch this. Even in the congregation of animals, the animal that find themselves lagging behind is the one that get destroyed. Mm -hmm. So, so my attitude was changed when I when I call myself connecting with a ministry. I'm gonna have to do something with them. I can't stay lingering. Mm -hmm. right, right. What we used to do over there. Look, you ain't over there no more. Leave that mindset. See, that's what the children of Israel problem was. Their mindset was over there with the leeks and the onions. Yeah, every time something showed up, they, they, they started remembering what happened in the past. And that's what's got some of us stuck now. Our past. Get delivered from what happened to you in your past. Watch this now. The only sins, oh, you ain't gonna like this one. The only sins that God has forgiven are the sins that are behind you. Amen. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right. Amen. Present and future, he'll forgive them. Mm -hmm. Got to repent, but you're going to have to suffer the consequences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to suffer the consequences. I promise you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. What you teaching? The word. Amen. Amen. He, said, well, he said, there's no more sacrifices for will for sin. Amen. Amen. No more sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Now we said it last week. Once we come, uh, Romans six, Romans chapter six. When we come into Christ, when we die with Him, I mean, when we, when we, when we go down, that baptism made a statement. Mm -hmm. I laid down my old life. I came up in newness. Now I walk in the look. I, I am dead to sin now. Mm -hmm. Once I give my life to the Lord, not just baptism, but when I confess my sins, ask the Lord to come into my heart and give my heart and my life to Him. Now I'm, I'm now. I'm not the, for, the forgiveness I walk in and the righteousness is his. Mm -hmm. His righteousness. Mm -hmm. I now, watch this. Oh, Jesus. He has saved me mm -hmm. from the power mm -hmm. and the penalty of sin. Mm -hmm. That's what he saved me from. That's what I'm saved from. The power and the penalty. Mm -hmm. But everything I do forward, 
It's on me. Amen. Uh, think about it. Come on. Watch that grace teaching. Amen. Grace. People are teaching grace. With our sins are forgiven past, present, and future. We ain't got to ask forgiveness. Don't do that. I'm telling you. Don't, don't, don't do that. If Paul had to repent daily, why, why, why we ain't? Amen. Yeah, we, we ain't got to we ain't got to live a life of will ourselves. We don't have to. It's a choice. It's a choice. But if you, the Bible says, but if you if you do sin, you have an advocate with the Father. Yeah, you, if you do sin, because sometimes you're going to fall. Mm-hmm. It ain't got to be willful. Mm-hmm. So, preacher, you telling me all this great temptation coming up against me, I don't have to give in. What, what, what that man keep walking behind you for? What, you, what, what are you looking at? I ain't talking about you. I know about you. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you looking at? What's drawing him to keep looking at you? <laughs> right. I mean, come on. What's that? Why does that joker keep coming around? Are you feeding the temptation? So we can feed the, yes, sir. We can feed the temptation, but once you starve, we'll die. Oh my God. Going somewhere with this thing in the mind. So I also want to make make clear Satan will and shall send temptations also. He will. He's the accuser of the brethren. You can do some stuff. He gonna go to God on you. Mm-hmm. He gonna go to God. Oh, wow! But the way that you defeat him is repent. Mm-hmm. You got to repent. Not only can we strengthen those places, but then we will be wiser as we grow in God. Mm-hmm. We can't go back making the same mistakes. Mm-hmm. Learn from it and don't go back to it. Repent means to turn from and not go back to. That's right. That's right. Now. It says like this. I think it's in the book of Peter. It says like a dog returning to his vomit in a in a sow wallowing in it, wallowing back in the mud. Mm-hmm. Now that's the nature we have, but I ain't got to give in to the nature. You know we got that nature right. Mm-hmm. Watch this. A, a, a dog, a, a dog, a dog's nature is to do eat his vomit. That's why the scripture shows that. Mm-hmm. Ain't that nasty? But we go back and and, and, and entertain them same people. It's just, you just like the dog. You can dress a pig up, put him in a Armani suit. Mm-hmm. He'll walk up right, and when you see that mud puddle, excuse me, man, he will jump right in. Cause it's his nature. Mm-hmm. We got the first atomic nature when he's his fallen nature. That's the nature we have. But now we also got a new nature. That new nature we get from God, it has no power yet. Mm-hmm. So now, now, so now, I'm gonna have to empower this this new nature with the word, mm-hmm. with prayer, with fasting. Hmm? Yes. Amen. That, that, that's how you build him up. He ain't gonna have no strength if you don't give him nothing. That's why we. That's why I tell you every day, please get the word of God. Mm-hmm. You got to get it. We make time for everything else. Mm-hmm. Well, why, why is reading the word so hard? Mm-hmm. First of all, your flesh don't want it. Okay. That's right. That's right. Oh, That's God. Mm. I'm coming, y'all. Let me see. God Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I, got, I, got, I got to do this. Now. This message today will help us learn how to overcome temptation by putting in putting in practice the ways and the word of God. Give me James chapter one, verse fourteen through sixteen. Can I shoot through some of this? I, 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 give me, give me ten minutes. Can you give me ten minutes? God promise we're gonna need this. Mm-hmm. Can you give me just ten minutes? 10 minutes. James one fourteen through sixteen. Read now. But every man is tempted. Oh, when he is drawn away of his own lust Woo! and enticed. It's something in me that's connected to the temptation. Right. Hey, glory. Go ahead, read. Then, when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. Hold it now. So, 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 so now. What have I got in me? I know it ain't holy. That's why that's why we keep eating, eating the word so that the word can, can purge it out of me. Mm-hmm. And everybody don't get delivered by coming to an altar and spinning in a bag. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's, let's get out of that formality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, the Bible says God said, I, I sent the word to heal them. It's delivered. Mm-hmm. Sometimes just sitting in the midst of the word 
it'll, it'll kill those desires. But it's got to be an anointed word. It's got to be coming from an anointed vessel. Because the Bible says that it's the anointing that destroys the yoke. The word. Isaiah 10, 27. Okay, read the rest of it. Come on. When the sin come forth, then what up? You can see that it bringeth forth sin, uh -huh. and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Jesus. Do not err, my loved brother. Do not err, uh -huh. my beloved brother. Don't get off course. Don't err. Don't, don't, don't do it. I'm telling somebody to stop doing it. Mm -hmm. Not don't. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we did it. I'm, I told myself, we did it. We need to stop doing it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm moving. So the word makes it so plain that we are tempted when we become seduced by our own flesh and uh, desires. Oh we are seduced with drone. Mm -hmm. With drone. You got to watch what enters your eye gate and your ear gate. You got to watch. You got to watch what you're hearing. You got to watch where you're at and what you're seeing. You got to watch what you're looking at. You got to watch it. You got to watch what guard your gates. Guard the gate to your spirit. Mm -hmm. Glory. Jesus Christ. So my flesh or appetite is hungry for my old desires. Mm -hmm. My flesh must be brought under subjection or control. First, uh, First Corinthians chapter 9. Come on, come on. First Corinthians chapter 9. Verse 24. I got, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get us out of here. Mm. Yeah, but we'll go to the restaurant and spend two hours telling lies. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race uh -huh. run well, mm -hmm. but one receiveth the prize. Okay. So run that ye may obtain. Go ahead, read. And every man that striveth for the mastery's mastery is temperate in all things. Mm -hmm. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. Read. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, yeah. not as one that beareth the air. But beateth I, the air. Beateth the air, I'm sorry. But I keep under my body and bring it unto it into subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I should be a castaway. I myself should be a castaway. So now my thing is, don't you let your desires, your flesh and desires, and the temptations that come at you, don't let them overtake you. Mm. Bring your body, your actions, mm. under suggestion. That's good. You're preaching. So when you preach to others, you can be effective. Mm. And God don't reject you. Amen. Paul said, I'm not going to preach to others. And then God rejects me. Right. I'm not going to be a vessel that God uses greatly. Mm -hmm. And I got some stuff going on on the side. Mm -hmm. And I'm operating out of my gift. Amen. Mm -hmm. And people getting delivered. Because see, the thing about it, we look, I keep telling you, watch the signs and wonders. The devil can do it. Amen. Right. Oh, they're raising the dead over there. Well, go ahead with your dead self. <laughs> You dead anyway. Go on over there. You ain't doing nothing over here. Jesus. Because we're looking at what we see. Man, I'm telling you. Discern your surroundings. Amen. Know who you're around. Listen, I got to keep moving. So, 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 so temptation. You know, we must starve this flesh of things it desire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got to do that. Temptation is a daily fight, so we just have to. Uh, excuse me, arm myself and be ready when the temptations come. Amen. Yeah. Uh, when you look back at 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, there, there, there are no temptation taking such common to man, God is faithful. But with the temptations, he often made a way of us getting the white man to bear under. Listen to this. That, 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 that simply means that uh, the stuff that's coming, I don't have to give into it. Right. It's going to show up. It's common. Mm -hmm. It's common. It's common. Mm -hmm. Watch this. So when we take a look back at that. So when we find ourselves face to face with temptation, we first should be searching for a way to get out. Amen. Amen. Yeah. God promised us that even when uh, we had something to do, even if we had something to do with the temptation, God will still have a way. Get out. Let me explain. We sometimes open the door by our own action. We sometimes call that person. <laughs> Yeah, we pray. Look, we even go to see that person. 
Speak <laughs> holy. Listen, so sometimes we become so naive to our flesh. Mm, naive. Mm, my God, watch this now. So we sometimes forget how much trouble or how much pain that same thing cost us the last time. Jesus, that's good right there. Wow. But we keep going back. Mm. That's good. Mm. Yeah, my God. That's good. Can you deal with another embarrassment? Mm. Jesus, have mercy. Can you deal with another disappointment? Do you want to? No. Get that fire there. Because see, we don't count the cost. Mm. Somebody tell you something that you want to hear, go mm -hmm. put everything in both feet. I told you sometimes you got to stay back mm -hmm. and analyze the situation. Mm -hmm. Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Analyze it. Watch this. Good. So some of us just keep following our heart. And we lose every time. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to, to use some wisdom now. Let me give you an ancient nugget. Say what you're going to do. Ain't going to get it done. Mm -mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's good. Get it done. Because most of the things. Most things are easier said than done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some of us just can't simply say no. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a word right there for you. No. You coming by later? No. <laughs> that word no carries a lot of action. It carries a lot of action. Now watch this. We say it, but we find ourselves doing it. Mm. At the same point, we must resist the thing that keep attacking us. So how do I how do we accomplish that? 2 Corinthians 10, 4 and 5. Come on, I got, you got the flow with me. Come on, because they're ready to go. They're ready to go. They don't want this. They're ready to go. They're putting that finger up, ready to jump out. Let's go. <laughs> the temptation going to meet you at the door if you go. Let's go. <laughs> don't go. Don't go. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. Yeah, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 4 and 5. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, mm -hmm. but mighty through God to the Ooh. pulling down of the stronghold. Uh huh. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Okay. So we must learn to use the weapons that has been assigned to you. <laughs> These weapons that the Apostle Paul talks about here have been proven over time and time again. They prove it. The weapons of our warfare, fasting, prayer, the word of God, praise, worship. They're part of your your they're part of your weapons. Praying in the spirit. Mm -hmm. That's why you need the baptism in the Holy the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's why you need it. Yeah. You can pray in the spirit. The Bible says in uh, Romans chapter eight, I think it's around verse twenty nine. It says, "For when you know not when you know not what to pray for, as you ought, the Spirit maketh intercession with groanings that cannot be uttered." So when you're praying yes. in the spirit, yes. your spirit and God is connected. Yes. It's a straight Amen. line. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Absolutely. You ain't got to pray in the spirit out loud for everybody to know you got a little tongue. Okay. <laughs> How you gonna pray in public and tongue and then you go right out and smoke a cigarette? Jeez. So the doctor might be that's a good point to leave. <laughs> <laughs> How you praying in the spirit and you got an alcohol problem? Ooh. How you praying in the spirit and you got a lust problem? Mm. How that work? My God. How it work? Tell me how it work. That's good. Huh? It's strange. Mm -hmm. Amen. Strange. It is. Watch now. I'm moving. I'm coming in. I got just a little bit more. So let's look at a few examples. First, let me give you uh, the weapon that has been. That we have access to. The word of God. Prayer. Fasting. These are just a few. That we can talk about today. Matthew chapter 4. It says that Jesus was in the wilderness. He was there. The Bible said he was led there by the spirit. To be tempted of the devil for 40 days. To be tempted. To be tempted. He was tempted with stuff. That would come against his flesh. He said if you be the son of God. Turn these stones into bread. Why did he tell them. To turn the stones in the bread. Mm -hmm. He told him that because he knew he was the bread. Oh my God. That's good. He knew that he was fasting. He knew that. Mm -hmm. So by 
enough get you to eat, I can defeat you. You got to stay on your fast as long as God tells you. Huh? And then every time he would say something to something, Satan would say something to him, Jesus would come back with it is written. Yes. <laughs> it's one of your ways. It's the greatest weapon that we have. The written, the, the, the we got the logos, that's the written. But the spoken word of God mm -hmm. is powerful. It's mm -hmm. alive. It'll clear your atmosphere out. Yes. Clear your atmosphere out. Yes. God, I'm not, I'm not quitting y'all. Y'all please, y'all pray for me. That joke ain't closed yet. Jesus finds himself face to face with Satan in the wilderness. Jesus was on a fast during the 40 days. He was tempted for 40 whole days. You tempted for a day, a few minutes, and your drawers on the floor. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> but too much. <laughs> but too much. But too much. Keep it real. <laughs> then when you finish, what happened? Now you what happened? Same thing happened last week. <laughs> Hello, you 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 fell again. So then, so to watch this. So then, that's when when you forget, ask God to forgive you. That's when that spirit of condemnation starts setting in. Mm. Now you start feeling guilty. Why you keep making that same mistake? Because it's something in me yes. that keeps dry. That when that temptation comes, it draws me right to it, mm -hmm. and we collide. Jesus, that's how sin is, is conceived. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then sin bringeth forth no death. Sometimes that death is physical. It's physical sometimes, and then sometimes it could be spiritual. Mm -hmm. I'm finished. Mm -hmm. That was too much, Lord. Watch this now. So, 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 he was tempted for 40 days. Uh, and the enemy kept tempting him. Satan kept tempting him. He was also praying on a regular basis. Look at this. We also uh, uh, see when he used the word of God to combat the attacks of his adversary. Mm -hmm. So, if it worked for Jesus, it certainly will work for us. Amen. It'll work. Yeah. It, the word works when you apply it. Amen. You can apply it to any situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's gonna be gonna take some some on your behalf too now. Mm -hmm. It ain't no it ain't no hocus pocus. I bind you. Mm -hmm. it's, there, it's gonna be right there. Mm -hmm. Every time you walk by, it's still there. Mm -hmm. It ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. You got to lose that desire. The desire got to die. That's good. It's got to die. That's right. mm -hmm. think, think think about where it had you last time. Ooh. Couldn't pray. You can't lift your hands up after you got been there doing offense to him. You all in worship. Take them down. You your hands ain't holy. He said, lift up holy hands. Amen. That's Amen. good. Your hands been <laughs> hands been touching something ain't got to be you lifting them. What are you lifting them to? Lift them down. Lift them to him. Praise. <laughs> I'm quit. I'm quit. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit more. So these weapons that we have should be exercised on a regular basis. We probably can't fast every day, but we should fast regularly. Mm -hmm. You can fast every day if you want to. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, God ain't looking at how long you do it. He's looking at why you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Fasting is the only, is the best way, not the only, the best way to kill them desires That's right. for sin. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's the best way. We, we, I'm, 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 I'm close the book. <laughs> we have got off course with fasting. Amen. We want to fast from everything else besides food. Amen. We wanna, right. Yeah, we want to fast from everything else besides fast from saying bad and negative words. No, fast from food. Mm -hmm. That flesh will start turning flips. Yeah, that, that, that's what we need. That's what needs to be conquered. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Fast from food, mm -hmm. it will kill that old man. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know how it worked, but I know it worked. Mm -hmm. I know it worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Men, Job made a covenant with his eyes. Job 31 and 1. He said, I made a covenant that I want to look upon that maid. He made a covenant. Women, make a covenant with your eyes too. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all look too. Who girl, did you see that? Who made me weak leg like spaghetti? <laughs> That's all we're looking at is outward. They don't know, we don't know nothing about that. Joke. Who, girl, is just my type. So the thing about it is <laughs> Satan know what you like. He know what you like now. Don't tell me. You're saying that joke about booming. Woo, girl, let me tell you. Tell me. That joke of man. Shh. <sighs> so anyway, shh. Oh Lord, my stuff is so 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 fighting temptations. The first thing, the first thing that comes to my mind when I heard it was, "Oh, I remember that movie." He said, "No, that's your topic." <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We 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 we, we lose it. <laughs> yeah, we lose it. It's okay. It's okay to admit that you're losing. It. See, the thing about it is, I found out that. Um, AA uh, AA Alcoholic Anonymous and, and NA some of their principles come straight out of the word admit that you are well, admit that you got a problem with something we got to admit that we've sinned Amen. God ain't going to help us until we admit or confess the thing that we done wrong or the thing that even the thing that we're struggling with man struggle you know I, 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 I've said this Struggle is a good thing in a sense. It lets you know that you haven't given up. But but you can't keep struggling with the thing. If you keep struggling with something long enough, somebody got to win. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? And in most cases, you know us. Just come on over. I'll just come on over. Y'all miss that. He keep right on calling. Me. Can I come over today? Every day he calls. Can I come over? Can I come over? Not today. Not today. Can I come on? One time you're going to say, yeah. That's not saying this. Keep right on. That's how it does. Temptation. It's always going to knock. You get to a place when you start falling in love with God for real. That stuff starts fading. Man. You start, I'm telling you. Because some of these places we go into, they're so familiar. I think, I, you know, just like a woman having a child. That woman, she almost squeezed that man's hand off. She's having that baby. You have a ring, please don't have no ring on. They, they, they'll tell you, they don't care. That pain, I hate you, and all that stuff. And, and I really have that baby. They put that baby in that arm. And they start looking down at that baby. Oh, God. For another one. <laughs> <laughs> you just tell them, man, husband, just tell them, you can have another one, but I won't be able to you deliver the next one. <laughs> I'll be out in the hallway, let you squeeze your mama hand or somebody. Yeah. It's that thing, man, I'm telling you, it's going to keep, it's going to keep knocking. Life. Sometimes, you know, it did your hands hard to play, man. Yeah. yeah. That's why we got to, that's why God knew that we were going to need him. Amen. He designed it this way. Amen. He designed it this way. I, whenever you come to the end of yourself, you're going to really see that you need God. Because everything around you, I'm telling you, man, it'll collapse. It'll collapse, I promise you. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when it happens. That's why it's good to have God in your life. I ain't talking about, you know, you put him up on the shelf and when you need him, you pull him off. I'm talking about have him in your heart and you're born again at all times. Yeah. Stuff just, I'm telling you, man, stuff gonna come and look at, look at, look at Joe. Every time one thing would happen, another messenger was coming. Could you handle that? I mean, could you really handle that? All your children die. Mm. You lose all your cattle. Jeez. Yeah, your wife over there talking junk to you. I tell you that God, you were certain want nothing. Mm. I'd have had to repent because I'd knock your block off. Pow! <laughs> 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 Glory to God, Lord. 
It's I. <laughs> you, do you forgive me? Because, you know, here's the thing I got out there right there, man. I'm, I'm, the altar's open if you need to come. You know, here's the thing that, that puzzled me about Job and that passage. Everything was taken except for his spouse. Jesus. Wow. I wonder why. I, I, I think puzzled me. Maybe God didn't want her to perish. Hmm. Yeah, thorn, but that thorn needs to be born. Come on again. <laughs> <laughs> but you understand? I, 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 I never thought. But then, I, but then afterwards, you don't you don't hear about his wife no more. It don't mean that she was gone. Never. I don't know. I think she needed to be born again, and God wishes nobody perished. Maybe he, he allowed her to see how God restored. Jesus, that's good. That's good. See, God will blow people mad around you now. Mm-hmm. Don't look. People, when people around you start talking about God and they cursing God and all that stuff, tell you, man, you that God, you, say, don't, you ain't got to say nothing. Mm-hmm. Just pray for them. Mm-hmm. Pray for them. Mm-hmm. And God will do something that they know is him. Mm-hmm. That's why. That's why the miracles are not for us. They're for the unbelievers. Even the gifts that we operate in, they're for unbelievers to come to cry. I promise you. Amen. We study. Come on, we study this thing now. Your little anointing that you got, it ain't for you to show off with it. It's for somebody to come in, burn down, and need help. Amen. That's what the anointing does. It destroys. It, it removes the burden. And after the burden is lifted, then it destroys it. Because the burden is on them. Once the burden come off, if that burden is on me and it come off of me, it's gonna be in a dry place. Amen. It wants to it wants to sit down on somebody else. So it's got the anointing got to destroy it. Amen. Yeah, good. it's like an unclean spirit that come out of a man. Some got to be done with that spirit. Hello. Amen. 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 If you here this morning and you're not born again. Let me lead you to the Lord. No, let it run. Come on, anybody. Because I know everybody won't pray for this situation. I always know that. <laughs> you didn't know how we do. I'll tell you what it was, it was maybe last week or something. You know, shouldn't nobody have to leave. You want to go up there with me? No, you need help. You need to go up there yourself. Amen. Yeah, you, we got everybody in here, you know what area that you're weak in. Everybody knows their weakness. We all know our weakness. Mm-hmm. It ain't got to be. It ain't got to be. It could be not, not reading the word, uh, not praying, and not fasting. Amen. Not serving God the way you should. All those are weaknesses. Amen. They're weaknesses. But we sit right there. I'm good. Good for what? The fire. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in Luke 13, man, there was a there was a, a tree in the vineyard. There was a, a, a fig tree sitting in the vineyard. It was out of place, but then God still expected it to produce. He said, if it don't produce it, the, the man said, well, why this tree ain't, why this thing ain't producing nothing? Oh, let me work with it next year and then come back again. Then if it don't produce, then you can do what you want to do with it. When we don't produce in the kingdom, God can't use us. He said, it's just what? Cut down and hewn in the fire. You figure now you can get the revelation you can get the revelation if you want. Amen. Amen. So Father, here we go. Nobody didn't want to be born again. Everybody ain't here born again. We need we getting out of this thing. I'm saved. Because I asked you what you saved from, you couldn't tell me. <laughs> yeah, I'm saved now, girl. Saved from what? I ain't, I'm saved from hell. Saved from hell, huh? Why you living like it there? We need to come up Amen. in God. We need to come up. Amen. It's not about works, but God still wants our deeds to be pleasing. Mm-hmm. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Holy Spirit, thank you for speaking in the heart, to our hearts. Thank you for giving us just what we needed. Amen. God, every weak place, God, we know it. Helping us to strengthen, helping us to fortify those weak places. God, the enemy, he keeps coming in. There's a, there's a door that I have opened. Help me to shut that door. And then help me to build up 
that place with the word. Help me to build it up with fasting and help me to build it up with prayer and praise. Help me, Lord. Worship is a weapon. Hallelujah. God, help me to, to get to that secret place where the enemy can go. Help me to live there. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Touch my mind. Touch my mind. Touch my mind. Touch my mind, God. You said, let this mind be in you that's also in Christ Jesus. Touch my mind, God. God, touch my life. God, I need you. I need you, God. I cannot make it without you, Lord. Help me. Help me, God, to come up. Help me to come up. Help me to come up. Even in my, my, my reasonable service, help me to come up, God. In the name of Jesus. God, I, even if I brought a reproach to your kingdom, God, help me to repent. Help me to repent. I've done things that were unpleasing in your sight, God. Help me to repent. I thank you. I give you the praise. And I give you the honor. Come on, in Jesus' name. Come on, put the hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.